The storms aren't just dumping rain, it's snapping trees. This one came down on power lines in Shaler, and you know it will not be the last. It is sure to be a very busy 24 hours for electric companies. Jennifer Barrasso joins us live in Jefferson Hills with how utility crews are working hard right now to get things ready. Hey, Jen. They are, Megan, the bottom line from both Duquesne Light and West Penn Power. They are prepared. They are ready. Megan, I want to show you this. We are in Jefferson Hills. Take a look what is happening here on Peters Creek Road. This road is closed. Just a short time ago, we saw a truck drive through it, and this is exactly what not to do. Emergency officials saying that the creek overflowing over the road. This is a dangerous situation. Now take a look at what happened in Shaler Township. People on Maple Avenue lost power for two and a half hours. We were there after a large tree limb came crashing down part of the power line. No one was hurt. In the meantime, I talked to West Penn Power, a spokesperson there. He told me that all crews are available and they have contractors as well. There's some staffing overnight, but the bulk of them will be in tomorrow when they expect outages could begin. We put all our folks on notice that uh, we're gonna be getting into a storm situation where they'll work uh, extended hours, 16 hours on, eight hours off until the last customer is restored. We put our contractors on notice one last live look here in Jefferson Hills. This is Peters Creek Road. You can see the dangerous situation. This road is closed. And Megan, the message from power companies, be prepared. Obviously, never touch a down line. And make sure you check in on neighbors. Charge your devices, your cell phones, your computers. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.